Hey everybody, my Expector Comics and I'm back. This time with a really cool CGC unboxing. If you want to see what's inside, stay tuned for that intro. Welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get in a timely fashion. So, like I said, got this CGC unboxing, ended up uh, coming in the mail maybe, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, just have not had the opportunity to record the video. Um, ended up submitting this book through a facilitator at Near Mint Expo, this was back in, I want to say mid-September, um, in Providence, Rhode Island. This was, like, like I said before, my... Um, last convention that I went to or one day show that I went to back home before I left and um, had the opportunity to meet some community members, do some hunting and uh, the special guest there was Roy Thomas. So I uh, ended up bringing, I think it was like 11 or so books to bring to sign and um, he was doing, God, actually I think it was like 20 books, 20 books I brought. And uh, he was allowing, I think, 10 books at a time while you were in line. So um, I ended up getting, like, I think 11 books signed. And then one submitted through the facilitator, uh, which I think was captured images? Captured something? Uh, I don't know, I forget. Yeah, so I got the paperwork right here from when I dropped it off. This was uh, through Captured Collectibles. And uh, they, they, you know, great facilitator. Um, ended up paying, what it was? $95 for the for the cost it was because it was like 75 bucks for um, economy through the facilitator and uh, shipping and it was 40 bucks to get the books signed like witnessed through them uh, for for CGC whereas he wasn't charging anything to get books signed so that was that puts me up at a hundred and 35 bucks for one book. So uh, yeah, it, it's pricey, but um, the book did come back in, in uh, two months. So that I'm pretty impressed considering I still have books from, you know, waiting at CGC from back in July. So uh, there's still some hiccups going on with CGC. Some books are coming back quicker, some aren't. So for this to come back before those books, you know, I'm happy to see something's working so um i ended up submitting so the it was economy so it was uh, a silver age book um otherwise they don't typically charge you for economy unless it's um i think it's it's before 75 or if it's a book that's over i think it's a thousand dollars something like that so uh this book isn't a thousand dollar book but uh it falls in because it's a book that's from the 60s so this is a book I've had, you know, for quite some time and uh, just haven't had the opportunity to, uh, you know, get it signed by him. And uh, originally I wasn't going to submit it to CGC unless I had it, you know, signed by uh, Roy Thomas. And I've met him before. I met him before at uh, Terrificon and uh, he signed another book for me too. It was um, that Iron Man Submariner number one, along with, you know, other books as well. But that was my most notable book that I've gotten signed by him. But he hasn't gone back to Terrificon since I, I went there that year. So he no longer goes there. So this was his only uh, appearance in all of New England for the year. So, enough on that. Um, let's see. I uh, was hoping, I don't know what the grade is because uh, it was it was sent through the facilitator so I don't have any you know notes or anything like that on the book. Um, hopefully there's no issues with the case. But it is packaged well. So that's always great news. Well, 
hopefully the rest of those books will come in soon. I'm going to have to reach out to those other facilitators and see what's going on with them. But uh, like I said, I'm happy that this finally came in because it is a rather old book. All right. Almost there. Uh, so w before I submitted it, I was, I, I bought this book maybe, I don't know, a few years ago. And uh, when I bought it off the person, I believe he said it was mid grade or close to mid grade, like a, you know, four or five, the five oh. I'm hoping I get that. Um, otherwise, I'd be a little disappointed. But we'll see what it comes out as. All right. So, uh, like I said, crossing my fingers, hoping it's at least a four or five or better. It is a Silver Age book. I did not get it, full disclosure, pressed or cleaned. It just was a direct submission. I didn't think it really needed that much from a cleaning uh, perspective. There was a little bit of tape, uh, tape rub on the front cover. I'll show you that, but let's see what the book is and the grade. All right, so here's the book. This is Marvel Superheroes, Captain Marvel, issue number 13 from, I think it was 1965. Oh, 68, sorry, 1968. Six, oh, look at that. Uh, he did great signature placement there when I met him. Uh, he said, yeah, I think this is gonna look great right here in the middle with that uh, action shot. Um, really impressed. See how this, this came out. Came out really nice. It's good. All right. Case looks great. Doesn't have any issues with it. It's the back cover. We're looking for people who like to draw. <laughs> oh, that's great. It says Norman Rockwell. So, look at that beauty. Six O. Oh, not bad. Off white to white pages. All right. Very nice. And um, like I said, I'm looking at the book. It doesn't look like it will benefit from a press. That's probably why I never pressed it. There was a tiny bit of tape rub there, which I talked about, but it did not seem to affect the gray that much at all. And uh, I am very pleased. This is amazing. There you go. So, uh, this was my CGC unboxing from my uh, time when I went to Near Mint Expo to meet Roy Thomas. So that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, feel free to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Marks with the Comics. Out.